All right, guys. Today I'm gonna do some more work to the Mark IV Jetta. Today I want to uh, bypass the uh, daughter body uh, coolant flow. So VR sixes, especially on the Mark IVs, have coolant flowing through the daughter body to help warm it up, uh, especially for like colder climates and colder weather. But I'm here in California. I don't really need that, so I want to delete that. I've done it before on my previous uh, Mark IV 24 valve GTI MR32 too, so it didn't have any side effects. And from what I've seen online, I guess some people did uh, a dyno with it removed or bypassed and uh, they actually gain like two horsepower and two torque. So I'm gonna do that today here and uh, let me show you where it is at. So you see here on this larger radiator hose, it kind of goes around curve here into a middle bracket that is mounted to the side of the head. Comes all the way up here. And then the hose is right here, if you can see that. It kind of just goes under and it goes into the, um, it's not dark, but it goes into the throttle bar here and then come out, come back out to the throttle bar here. And it loops into all the other coolant holes. So, gonna get rid of all of that. It'll help clear up some space too, because I'm gonna remove that. Actually, actually gonna remove that metal bracket as well. Clear some space of all of these extra hoses. And then fix this area here. Sorry, kind of uh, messy in there. So, for now, I'm gonna do that for today. Try this. So I have some bypass caps here, some vacuum caps here, and an extra hose that I think might work from my R32 uh, from some time back. So I'm going to use that and just use the uh, stock or those extra the hose clamps that is already in the car. Alright guys, so before I get this video started, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and to help support my channel. Now let's get this video started. I'm going to pull the jet in the garage real quick. Actually, I'm just gonna work on the car out here since I have shit out here. But first thing I'm gonna do <coughs> is uh, remove this part of the engine cover here so it exposes more of the uh, uh, the flow to the throttle body. And the next thing I'm gonna do is just uh, take off this hose right here. You can see it, this one, and just cap it off. So let me get that done real quick. So to take off the engine cover, I'm gonna be using... What size is this? Anyways, it's, it's a star. It's a star bolt here. Okay, so that engine cover piece is off. Now you can see the hose more. Here's the hose, kind of just uh, right, routes around here, goes all the way up here, and into a, a, a metal tube bracket that kind of bolts along here and it comes back out right here. You see that hose, this one here? So, like I said, I'm just gonna cap this part off first. So, let me get that done. All right, so the hose is off and it's capped off. Now I'm going to mess with this piece. So like I said, I found an extra hose that should probably work from my old R32 and just uh, bypass this area. Instead of capping off this T, just have one hose coming all the way along here and down into this pipe down here. You see this here. So let me get that one done. So got it done, looks like after finishing it, it looks like it was meant to be. Just fits perfectly and just sits in perfectly. So like I said, here's the old one. Like a little three-way uh, three um, little split here. All I did was find a hose from my, from my old R32 and just fit it right in between there and dish this three-way split and not having to cap it off. And now I'm able to just take off the excess hoses and whatnot. Anyway, so it just goes in right here. This goes down into another little cooling hose down there. Like it was meant to be and was a perfect fit in that area. So now all I'm gonna do is take off all of these excess hose, cap off the throttle, uh, coolant flow throttle nipples on the throttle body, and then Take out the rest of the excess holes here, here, and also this little metal bracket that it mounts to the side of the head. So let me uh, get all of those out and then show you how it looks right, uh, after. All right, guys. So just finished up. Check out all of the extra hoses here. So while I was taking out all the extra hoses and was trying to take off this little metal bracket that actually has the uh, the metal routing for the uh, throttle. Uh, body flow that bracket actually hold in a lot of the other stuff so it was holding this uh, evap system hoses and stuff like that too so I just decided to keep those in anyways 
Um, I was also checking how it was inside of the uh, throttle body and it looks like it's pretty gunked up. So when I'm when I plan to clean the throttle body plate and whatnot, I'm gonna try and blow and clean out the throttle the throttle body at current flow um, uh, portion too. So other than that, everything should be good to go. Hose right on here and just cap that off. Everything's secure. And gonna drive it like this for you know some time and see how it goes and then just double check everything and go from there. But I'm pretty sure everything should be good and we should be good here. Alright, so got everything all buttoned up, double checked. Gonna give it a, a few days of a drive and then report back for any leaks and any issues. All right guys, I've been driving the car for the past few days and have not have any issues or any leaks. So the throttle body coolant flow is a success. Good to go, feels good. And um, I hope that this video helped you guys out if you decide to do the same thing. All right guys, so a quick summary of what I did. So I removed the uh, heater hose that goes from this plastic pipe to the metal pipe here and then capped this one off. Next one I did was remove the heater hose from this end of the metal pipe that goes straight into the bottom down here of the throttle body. Remove that and cap that off. And then remove the little triple split heater hose area right here that goes from into the top of the throttle body into this portion of another heater hose set and that set. And I was able to find a hose from an old stash uh, that would was able to fit from this little triple uh, T ho uh, heater pipe into that one down there. And that was basically it. And then for the caps, I have this one here. Bypass assortment caps that I bought from um, the local auto parts store. This should be good for heater, heater hoses and whatnot. This is right up there. You can see that's kind of blurry. And I have some extra vacuum caps here. I don't think these are high heat resistance. But I use this one on the throttle body. And then use a the smaller one here for the, uh, uh, the coolant hose. So you should be able to get these two at your local auto parts store. If not, if you want to purchase it online, I've supplied the link down below for each of these. Alright guys, so that will be the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to help support my channel. Comment any feedback to help my channel grow. If you have questions about what I just did on the throttle bar coolant flow bypass, comment it down below. And like this video if you find it helpful. Thanks guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.